Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a brief overview of the Samsung 970 Evo NVMe M.2 1TB SSD model number MZV7E1T0BW. They multiply. <laughs> but anyway, come over here real quick and I'll talk you through it as I'm doing the unboxing. All right, guys, again, the Samsung 970 Evo NVMe M.2 one terabyte SSD. This and this are going to be featured in my boss build video, so keep an eye out for that. Now, all right, so right in the front, we can just see VNAND SSD 970 Evo NVMe M.2. Samsung, we can see the drive a little bit right over here and one terabyte. Along the top, kind of the same stuff, just no picture. The bottom, we see the serial number, model number, and all that good stuff here. Side, just model number and all that good stuff. Same on the other side. The back, unreal performance realized. So they talk about the warranty, model number, which it does bring a five year warranty. Pretty awesome. And then serial number, UPC, and model number, and all that good stuff. So, all right, let's actually get to the drive itself. All right. Comes in a very nice container. Almost looks like an Apple product in this container. QR code right over here, another QR code right over here, and I'm not sure what those are. Maybe you can scan that real quick, and that one too. All right, and so let me take this drive out. A little bit harder than it looks like. All right, before I get to the actual drive, let me just make sure there is nothing else we should speak about. Put that aside for right now then we have a samsung solid state drive another qr code installation guide warranty statement and all that good stuff this is probably going to be very basic information right in here it is sealed i can open it of course um, again it's probably going to be very basic information so installation guide in English, and then a few pictures. So here they're kind of showing you how to do it ex as an external drive. Oh no, um, well yeah, it's USB. Yeah, as an external drive here. Then they show you down here how to do it internal. Okay. And then laptop, they show you how to do it for laptop. And that's for a regular SATA drive. So this is a pretty generic uh, instruction manual then they show you how to do on the m.2 which again I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in the build video for the boss machine coming up soon again building my boss a PC and I will be using this I'm sorry this and I'll take this out so you can see it up close all right so basic drive and right up there so you just kind of pop it in in the socket put it down push it down and screw it in here again I'm just going very basic but I will have a video on how to do this now on this build my boss chose to buy two of these one for the C drive obviously one for a very fast D drive for games and for SolidWorks or Autodesk um, mechanical or electrical whichever he chooses or both his machine um, and then we have a third drive which I'll show you in another video a mechanical drive just for you know pictures and everything just for data storage and then also an external drive for the same thing maybe even to mirror it you know but anyway again this was an unboxing and a brief overview and actually I did forget to go over the specifations this is an m.2 2280 form factor 
This guy is up to 3,400 megabytes per second on sequential read and up to 2,500 megabytes per second on sequential write. It does support AES 256-bit encryption. The interface, as you can see right over here, is PCIe Gen 3.0 by 4 lane, then NVMe 1.3. All right, this is using the Samsung MLC and also using the Samsung Phoenix controller. It's using one gig of Samsung low power DDR4 SD RAM for caching. That's pretty awesome, one gig of cache there. But anyway, you're going to see a lot more and I'm not gonna do hardcore benches on this because, well, my boss wants his PC, but I will do some benchmarking and I'll show you guys the results a little bit later. All right guys, this is Iggy out, again doing an unboxing and a brief overview of the Samsung 970 Evo NVMe M.2 one terabyte SSD. See you guys.